State Assembly, my second term, I, there was busloads, and I mean busloads, of liberal activists for John Kerry, who was running for president at the time, coming out and dropped off in Oregon, all paid volunteers, and people were swarming around, knocking on doors, dropping off literature, talking to everybody they could. I've never seen an organization like that. And, right, and that's why we can't take anything for granted. We have to replicate what they've done. Now, if you have to have the President of the United States come to Wisconsin, and if he thinks that he can pick the next governor in the state of Wisconsin, you know, something's sorely missing. This, campuses across Wisconsin, are, and across the country, are gonna make a huge difference in the elections. Scott Walker will be the next governor if you guys continue to stay mobilized and get the vote out in the next 19 days. It's absolutely critical. You know, I, I've heard, you know, as I've traveled places, people often think, well, the, the elections, they're just kind of taking it for granted. They see the polls in the newspapers, say, oh, he's up six points, up eight points. We can't take any vote for granted. Well, and Johnson's doing terrific. He's he literally, a, I mean, I've talked to his staff and I've talked to him, I bump into him at events. He's traveling to almost every small town across Wisconsin. I mean, he is literally working his butt off, yeah. doing a great job. So obviously Congresswoman Baldwin is a very, um, she's a tough opponent. Um, there's, there's no doubt about that. She's been around um, a long time. But when you look at Congresswoman Baldwin's record, she really hasn't done anything you know, over the, her period in, in Congress. I mean, and, and people are just really tired of long-term incumbents that haven't done anything. And that's, Tammy Baldwin's a classic example of talking a good game about something. I mean, the majority of Wisconsin residents did not want the health care bill to pass, and all she's done is talked about health care reform. Now she's given us that, and it's the wrong direction for this state. Um, any chance of a bid for Dane County Exec? I'd never rule anything out at this point. I certainly have to talk to, continue to talk to my family um, about that right now. But I care deeply about Wisconsin. I love Dane County. Um, I, lo I love this area. I've been raising my kids here, and I feel very strongly about it about that, so, um, you know, I certainly want to see Dane County move in a more conservative direction because they've spent way too much money, increased taxes, increased way too much, uh, but I'll make that decision.